how can we more securely interact with decentralized financial apps rather than using the mobile crypto wallet apps we have walked through setting up together that create seed phrases on our mobile devices that are connected to the internet, which is not very secure or ideal, while also being extremely easy for a beginner to use and feel comfortable and confident with, while also being able to make trades quickly to take profits on the go if or when interesting price action occurs, because even if we carry around our ledger devices with us, trading is not that fast and efficient, while also being cost effective. And after some research and testing out some new interesting wallets, this unicorn of a wallet actually exists. Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video guide, we are going to explore Tangem Wallet, a secure, open source, multi currency, multi chain, DeFi compatible, easy to use hardware wallet that requires only our phone and our Tangem wallet cards that are the same size as a credit card. No wires, no batteries, just the Tangem app on our phones and a tap of the Tangem cards. Let's check it out. Let's cover some interesting aspects of Tangem Wallet, unbox the product together, and do some crypto transactions with it. Tangem Wallet is a cryptocurrency cold storage hardware wallet that looks like a regular credit card. The card is very simple in design with just a chip that is an advanced standalone microcomputer that has been independently certified as having the highest standard of security among crypto wallets, known as EAL6+, which is a level of protection similar to that of NASA and passports. And the card also has an NFC antenna for wireless communication, similar to a regular credit card. So there are no vulnerable elements that are prone to failure involved, like batteries, a cable, or a screen. And an independent audit of the firmware and source code involved was carried out by Swiss auditing company, Kudelsky Security, which offers an extra security guarantee. The card was designed for maximum resistance with IP68, which means the wallet can survive against dust, water, like being completely submerged at the bottom of the ocean, and temperature extremes, like freezing or hot environments. To use and interact with the wallet, we need a smartphone with NFC support, which includes any iPhone newer than iPhone 7 or any Android with NFC. And NFC stands for Near Field Communication, which is technology that allows secure transactions between devices by touch. Like when we use our phones with Apple Pay and tap on a point of sale device to pay for something. And with our phones, we need to install the free Tangem app. The source code of the Tangem Wallet mobile application is all available for anyone to view and inspect on GitHub, which is extremely important because with full transparency, we can be sure that there are no backdoors built into the wallet and it ensures Tangem Wallet can function even if their services are offline or unavailable for any reason. Nice. So once the Tangem app is installed on our phones, we simply tap the card to our phone to instantly activate our new wallets. When we activate our Tangem wallet, the chip in the card generates a random private key that neither Tangem nor anyone can view, see, or know what it is. And this card is used each time we need to make a transaction. So the private keys are never provided to any third parties and the Tangem app or company also does not collect any information. So the private keys on our cards never get exposed, which makes it impossible to steal or trick us out of our funds. This is much different than the seed phrases we are used to setting up like with mobile wallet apps, like Coinbase Wallet App or Trust Wallet App, or with other cold storage hardware wallet devices like Ledgers or Trezors. So, with hot wallets like apps, the creation of the 12 or 24 word seed phrase is done on devices connected to the internet like computers or cell phones, which creates a lot of vulnerabilities and security risks. And with cold wallets like Ledger and Trezor devices, the creation of the 12 or 24 word seed phrase is done offline, which is more ideal and secure. However, vulnerabilities and security risks are still present. Because as we've discussed in several videos on the channel, one of which you can check out by clicking on the link above, if anyone has access to your seed phrase, like if they came across them written on a piece of paper, or if you stored it on a device that could be hacked like your computer or cell phone, or if a scammer tricks you by pretending to be Ledger or Trezor or similar, and sending you a fake email or directing you to a fake site that instructs you to give them your seed phrase, by lying and saying your funds need to be recovered or similar, then all the funds on your wallet will be gone. So seed phrases are designed to help us self-custody and manage our cryptocurrencies and digital assets more easily and restore any lost access to our funds. However, like we just discussed, there are risks. And even if you decided to try and remember your seed phrase by heart or mix up some of the words on it written down, if you unfortunately suffered a brain injury, memory lapse, or similar, that's also a risk of completely losing access to your funds. So for me personally, 
This was one of the main reasons I almost didn't dig deeper into exploring this wallet as an option, because the private keys are left unknown to us, the wallet holder, as well as everyone else. However, upon further research and consideration, it actually makes a lot of sense, because cryptocurrency private keys are generated by elaborate mathematical algorithms where data is encrypted many, many times over using a huge amount of computing power. And then the most important key is then just converted into a 12 word seed phrase that is written down on a piece of paper, which can be torn, lost, stolen, memorized, or photographed by anyone who sees and then can steal everything. Basically, this is why Tangent Wallet doesn't think seed phrases are ideal and created this different type of wallet that stores all private keys in the card's chip and doesn't show them to anyone, not even the owner. So instead of a seed phrase as the only way to back up our crypto wallets, with Tangem, backup copies of the wallet are created and used on other similar Tangem wallet cards. So let's say we have our own Tangem wallet card and two backup cards. We can store them in different geographical locations in case we need to restore access of our digital assets. And if anyone else happens upon the card or steals the card, and even downloads the Tangem wallet app and tries to access our funds, there is an additional layer of security, which is where we encrypt our wallets with an access code by creating our unique series of numbers or letters similar to a pin code or passphrase. And to protect the wallet from brute force attacks after each wrong password attempt, an increasing amount of time delay between each attempt is executed. So our crypto remains secure. Amazing. Now that we know more about how the Tangent wallet card and app works, let's unbox it, set it up, and do some trades. So if we scroll down and use the link below, we can access Tandrum's correct and official site, as well as redeem any special offers they have for us, where we can choose to buy a Tandrum wallet with three cards, giving us two backups, or two cards, giving us one backup. And note the pricing for this cryptocurrency hardware wallet is much cheaper and more affordable than other ones, with free shipping and an option to pay in crypto, which is a plus for any beginners just getting started or anyone who is looking to onboard friends and family into crypto with a simple, easy to use, secure self-custody wallet. Sweet. When it arrives, it comes sealed in this flat white box. And after unwrapping the plastic, we can pull the tab here on the box to open it up like so. On the left here, we have instructions on how to set the wallet up. And on the right here, we have a tiny booklet with some information and we've got our tangent wallet cards. Here are all three of them together looking just like regular old banking or credit cards, which can fit in any regular wallet, like my favorite traditional wallet called Ridge, which will be perfect for when I want to trade on the go as Tangem fits perfectly in it with my other cards. So make sure to subscribe and stay up to date on all of my altcoin moves in the next bull cycle. Cool. This wallet setup is super simple, fast and efficient. So let's start out by going to the correct and official site, which we can use using the link below. So we download the correct and official Tangem wallet app for our specific type of mobile device. Install the app, open the app, and we will see two options, to scan a card or to order cards. So if you haven't ordered a Tangent wallet yet, you can tap the order button. And once you've got your cards, tap scan card. Next, we will see ready to scan with instructions to tap the card as shown above and hold until the end of the operation. Nice. Scroll through the legal disclaimer and tap accept. Now it's time to create our wallet. On this screen that says let's generate all the keys on your card and create a secure wallet. Tap create wallet. And we're going to do exactly what we just did. To create the wallet, tap the card as shown above and do not remove it until the end of the operation. And we're done. No scrolling through tiny screens, writing things down, verifying the words and writing down backups. The wallet has been created and the private keys are secure on the card. Amazing. Now let's create backups of our wallet with the remaining cards. Tap backup now and then add a backup card. Hold the card next to your phone, wait for the operation to complete, and bam, one backup of our wallet. And then tap, add a backup card again, hold the last card to your phone, and bam, a second backup of our wallet. Now that we have two backup cards added, which is the max number, let's tap the finalize backup process. Next, we are going to create an access code to protect all of our wallets in case a card is lost or stolen to protect our funds. Note we can set up individual access codes for each card later, and the access code can be restored with a linked card. So don't keep all of your cards in one place. Tap continue, then choosing any word, phrase, or number, create an access code, and then tap continue. Re-enter the access code to confirm it, and then tap submit. Nice. 
Finally, we are going to prepare the primary card. In this case, it's the card with these last four numbers from the number sequence on the back of the card. Then tap, scan the primary card. And hold the card to your phone like we've been doing. Give the operation a few seconds to complete, and we're done. We are going to repeat this process for backup card number one, ending in these four digits. So tap the scan the card number one, and hold the card to the phone. And when it's done, scan the final card for backup card number two. Sweet. Depending on the phone you are using, it may ask you if you'd like to use Face ID or similar when accessing the app and other interactions with the wallet. Note that a transaction with funds will still require a card. Make a selection and success. Our wallet card is configured and ready to use. Tap continue to my wallet. Awesome. Here on the main dashboard, we can see our wallet at the top where we have three cards. And below, we can see tokens like Ethereum and Bitcoin with their current market price as well as our zero balance for the new wallet. We can tap manage tokens to add more, which Tandrum is a multi-currency and multi-blockchain wallet, meaning it can support nearly every cryptocurrency out there, as well as NFTs, and can interact with DeFi apps where we can use our wallet to lend, borrow, and stake funds. Cool. Now let's quickly do some transactions, like send some Ether to it and make an altcoin trade, all from the convenience of the Tandrum wallet app, which has integrated the one inch exchange, a decentralized exchange with the best fees and rates. So we can see how much faster, more secure, and more efficient it is than using hot mobile wallets like we've been learning about how to use in other guides in this altcoin season preparation video series. Open the Tandem app, scan the wallet card, and enter your access code to arrive here at the dashboard. We're going to add some Ethereum to this wallet. So tap on Ethereum, and from here, we can either buy Ether directly through the wallet or copy our Ethereum wallet address, or scan the QR code, or share it with someone via text, email, or similar to receive Ether from another wallet or exchange. Using another wallet with Ethereum on it, choose an amount to send. In this example, we are sending $500 worth of ETH and scanning the QR code to send the Ether. And after a few moments or so, bam, the $500 of Ether has arrived in our new Tangent wallet. Now, when we open up our Ethereum wallet from the dashboard, under Actions, we can choose to swap Ether for another crypto right within the app integrated with Oneinch. So in this section here, we can choose which cryptocurrency on the Ethereum blockchain we want to swap Ether for. In this example, let's say we want to gamble on the Floki meme coin. Next, choose the amount, so 0 0.06 Ether, which is a little over $100, and then the transaction is ready. However, make sure to check the network fees. At the time of this video, Ethereum transactions are in high demand, so the price to transact is high, about $50 right now. If everything looks okay for you, tap swap, and then the transaction will complete when you tap your card to your phone. Now it's important to note, at times like this, like when this tutorial was filmed, and especially when altcoin season fires up, Ethereum transaction fees can be hundreds of dollars. That's why it's so important as a crypto investor to learn how to transact on other, more efficient, less costly networks, like Polygon, Arbitrum, Binance, and more, so we can take advantage of other altcoin opportunities outside of the main Ethereum ecosystem, so the transaction fees are significantly less. And what's great about Tandem is that it supports multiple blockchain networks where we can swap directly through the app and avoid high fees. Awesome. If you would like to learn about how to find different altcoins before they pump in the next bull cycle, check out this video. If you would like to learn more about tools like Tandem Wallet we can add to our DeFi toolkit, check out this video. And to get your very own Tandem Wallet, click on the link on the screen. Like and subscribe for more. Be safe out there.